Good afternoon. Um, I'm going to do uh, a video on a snare build, but not what you would normally see, I suppose. Kind of inspired by uh, our David R. Um, I got some bits and pieces left over from, well, just stuff that I've accumulated over the years, and I wanted to do something with it. Um, so I'm going to build a uh, kind of a Franken snare. Um, but uh, to put a mesh head on the top as a practice, as a quiet practice snare, um, just for rudiments. And I've got uh, some mesh heads on a, on a quiet practice kit in the studio. Um, so yeah, I will show you the bits and pieces that I've got. Uh, I should say at this point, I haven't done this before really. Um, I'm fairly handy, um, but I don't have a workshop. I have a very, very small shed. I don't have a drill press. Uh, I don't have access to a lot of things, maybe just hand tools, very small vise, uh, and a battery drill. That's it. So, see what happens. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's show you the bits and pieces I've got. So, <clears throat> first of all, got this shell. Um, eBay, it's rotten. You know, it's uh, it's got all tarnish on it. You know, bits. Yeah, it's a cheap shell, but I picked it up so cheap. I mean, literally only just double figures. I think it was, it was just over a, I think it was 11 quid or something, 10 or 11 quid, all in, including postage. Um, so the only problem, well, I'll show you the other bits first. Uh, cheap, generic throw, the butt's already on, uh, and then some lugs that I've had forever. They're all Mapex lugs, um, but I'm never going to get rid of whatever it is that I make, so they can always be used at a later date. You can see these, are, these have been stored badly, not by me, but by previous people. Um, so they're all scratched up anyway. Uh, and these are just cheap. Pro-M, I think they are. Um, quite a few tension bolts. Um, I'm gonna be using an old snare side head and a mesh head. Um, I do have some hoops as well, uh, which I'll dig out. So the hoops are eight whole, uh, and I've got 16 lugs. The problem is, I didn't realise at the time when I purchased this, it is a six lug snare. So obviously super cheap. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I could buy some six lug hoops and I'd use less of them and use the holes that are already there, but these are these need two holes. Anyway, and you can see these are made for either double-ended or one lug, or double-ended lugs. Uh, that hole there not big enough so I'd have to drill it anyway so I'm gonna just make it eight lugs and just live with the holes in the drum because it's never gonna go out it's never gonna do anything with it it's just a practice project because I am gonna be buying a shell at some point because I have some more of these you know, chrome in much nicer condition and some other bits and pieces so I will be making an eight lug drum so really I'm gonna use this as a bit of a practice so now I'm gonna shut up and I'm just going to film what I do. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's an experiment for me. I've never done anything like this before. I've never had to measure anything or whatever. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let's get started. So, does your measuring mark some holes? You see, there's two lots of lines on here, ones with the X. That's because I fucked it up and didn't line it up properly with the butt or the throw on the other side, so I measured again. So essentially what I've done is perpendicular line with the edge of the shell. Obviously be careful of the snare bed because that's not straight usually, although this cheap shell doesn't seem to have much of one. Marked a distance from the edge of the drum to where I want the lug to start. All the way around and then I used the gasket one of the gaskets that to as a template to mark the holes so um, 
time to do some drilling. Uh, I'll just show you my drill press. Lovely. So here we go. This bit of footage is obviously speeded up. Um, you wouldn't want to watch me for 40 minutes drilling and screwing things together. If you look at the holes that are facing the camera now, you can see there's three large and one small. Um, that's because I cocked up. Should be two large, two small. Um, each of the lugs has a small location stud and then the larger screw hole. Um, you can see the screws that I'm screwing in are black sort of oxide. Um, these I bought because I had to buy some rubber washers. Um, mainly due to the depth of the shell, it's very very thin and I believe these lugs um, are more suited to wooden shells. So the screw lug on the inside of the drum actually sits actually protrudes into the inside of the drum so even if you screw the screw up completely it still doesn't hold it it rattles around so i bought some rubber washers just to space it um, space the screw off the shell a little bit better so those and the black screws which are m5 by 12 millimeter pan head i believe they are i think they're all in at about five or six quid with those and the washers so with the shell at about nine or ten pound i'm about 15 quid in the hole with this so it's not a lot of money at all so certainly nothing to get precious about but there is an important lesson measure twice measure twice measure again phone a friend double check and then drill or cut this is a cheap shell but if it was a hundred pound or more shell that i was doing a custom drum build for i would be very upset if i would have made that mistake um, so you can see the look i'm going for here is uh, black and chrome alternate on the top and bottom um, and you may or may not have noticed that the shell isn't as shiny as it was um, i decided to sand it um, and what i found was underneath was like a really cool um, aluminium galvanized patinaed vintagey sort of look which I actually I was going to clear coat and polish it and I just left it because I thought it looked pretty cool in my opinion um, the hoops I've got are from an old Ludwig black and uh, they're all beaten up scratched you know gouges out of them and that um, but fit for this purpose um, it's an old snare side head you can see me fishing around in the spares box there and um, that's because the tension bolts that I'd uh, assigned and put to one side were too long um, because of the way the lugs worked out. They were too close to the hoops, so I had to rummage around in my spares and get um, 16 shorter bolts, which fortunately I had just enough. Um, so I don't know if you noticed that I had a black mesh head on there and I just took that off and I've put a proper Remo control sound. It's an older one, but a control sound because I thought for the sake of the video, we may as well hear what it sounds like as a proper snare. Um, Eventually, I'll just put the, the mesh head back on it and it will just, you know, be a, a quiet practice snare, which is, that was the whole idea of this. But once I started putting it together and the time sort of builds up a little bit, um, yeah, I thought this actually looks pretty cool. I wonder what it sounds like. Old snares, 20 strand, no brand, no name. Um, I had them in my stick bag. You can see what I do here with snares is I locate the button first, tighten that up, make sure the snares are central, allowing for any sort of stretch. Um, I use uh, material rather than plastic straps or string, um, that's just my preference. And when I do the throw side, I tend to open the throw, get it screwed up pretty tight and then close the throw and then just tighten it up and then adjust as I need to. So there is the Frankensnare, that's the finished article. Um, really happy with the way it turned out as it happens, really happy. I think it looks really cool, obviously is my, my opinion. So we'll go over to the studio now, we'll cut to the studio. Now what happened here was, <laughs> for some reason, I took an affinity to stroking <laughs> the coating on the, on the Remo head and you couldn't actually hear my voice, so that's why I'm voice over in this part, but let's hear what it actually sounds like. surprised
Well, considering it cost me all of 10 quid, well, a bit more than that, so I had to buy some washers, but I suppose all in 15 quid, maybe 18 quid, something like that. Um, So there you go, there is my Frankensnare build, inspired completely by a day, uh, our David R on YouTube, David Ralph. Um, check him out, it's a brilliant channel, it's in, it should inspire you to just grab some random stuff and build something. That's what I did. Thanks for watching.